So whenever you want to start your systematic literature review, one of the first things that you have to do is to decide which SLR methodology you are going to choose for your study. Various aspects of uh, doing uh, systematic literature reviews, how to write a systematic literature review, and so on. So you can look at that. Uh, but you can also find out if there are any specific methodologies that suit uh, your discipline. Like I said earlier, uh, all the methodologies will follow the more or less similar structure like planning, conducting, and uh, reporting. But the individual elements within or sub steps within these three broad uh, steps would could be different, could vary. Okay, so you got just have to check that. And if there is, uh, as you read uh, the systematic literature reviews, the, the reason I asked, one of the reason I asked you to read those three uh, uh, SLRs prior to that is in the methodology section of that paper, they would say which approach, which SLR methodology they have used. So that itself is a good uh, direction for you to follow a similar uh, method. Okay, so I want to start with uh, the PRISMA methodology now. So this methodology is uh, primarily uh, designed for health science research or health and medicine. Uh, and a number of different uh, researchers, uh, so SLR methodologies kind of have evolved or adopted uh, the ideas from this approach. But before that, I want to show you uh, a layout of a typical systematic literature review paper. Okay, so a SLR paper will have an abstract, introduction, methodology, results or findings, discussion, limitation and future work, conclusion, references, and you can then have appendix where you can add some additional information about your uh, SLR. So this is mostly tables uh, that you have. Uh, that are not the, where there is not enough space to put it in the paper. Okay, so this is the kind of a layout. And you, when, you, when you look at some of the papers, some of the SLRs, you will find more or less uh, this kind of a structure. There could be some additional sections more than this, but definitely it will not be anything less than this. The reason I showed you this before because, is because I want to connect that with the Prisma methodology. Okay, so if you look here on the on the right side, this is the Prisma checklist. So what? Why is this a checklist? So whenever you are writing a systematic literature review paper, one of the things that you can do is to show that you have covered all. Uh, show what all aspects of the SLR methodology you have covered in your paper, and that is done by listing on which page of your SLR you have covered this, okay? For example, title. You can say the title is on first page, abstract is on, sec on the first page, rationale could be on the second page, objectives could be second page, uh, and so on. All right, so in Prisma, there are, these are the sub, uh, there are 27 items in total. So title, structured abstract, rationale, objectives, protocol and registration, eligibility criteria, and so on. Um, and all the way till 27, okay? So some of these elements, uh, checklist items are very focused on health related research. So if you are doing research in that space, I think you should follow uh, this methodology or there are other uh, health, other SLR methodologies that are used in uh, health and medicine space. So you could follow that. So I will, uh, in the next uh, slides, I'm going to selectively pick up some items that are kind of broadly applicable to all of you. So I'll not go through all the 27 items, but uh, select those that are, uh, we will be using for most of the researchers.